Ali from Pakistan, he says, what's the difference between Hafs and Warsh? And this is a technical question. And I believe Ali asked me this question before on uh, uh, Twitter and I answered him. And I think he sent it ag again to my website and I answered it, but I don't know. Um, anyhow, benefit of the doubt. These are two different recitations. So we know that the Quran came down, was revealed on seven ahruf. And harf is side. And some explain it as an uh, accent. So it's a different structure of the word with different meanings that do not go against one another, but rather they go in the same channel, giving additional meaning to the word itself. And there were seven ahruf. There were seven great scholars who were attributed to have uh, um, structured and uh, uh, f uh, spread the Quran according to their recitation. They have taken it to, uh, uh, from their uh, uh, scholars to the Prophet ﷺ himself. And Hafs and Warsh are one of the disciples of these seven great um, uh, reciters. So Hafs and Asim al-Kufi, for example and Warsh al-Nafi' al-Madani. So these are their two disciples who learned from it and we have it uh, as we speak. Ah and Ahmed from Canada. Ahmed. Hello. Ahmed. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Hi, um, I had a Christian guy ask me this question and I didn't know how to answer. So can I ask that question? How would I know if I don't hear your question, yeah, Ahmed? Okay, okay, okay. Um, so he said in Ayah, I mean, Surah Kaf, Ayah 27, it says that the Quran or the Kitabs of Allah cannot be changed. And he said, since the previous Kitabs were sent by Allah, then how can we say that they've been changed or corrupted? Okay. I will answer, inshallah. 